Welcome everybody to another episode of Latif's Inspired. I'm in Manchester, all the way from London. Uh, spinning fields, not spitter fields. Uh, so we're going to check out this fantastic restaurant called Lebanese Comp Tour. They've got a few branches. Um, I've been uh, recommended to review this restaurant, so I can't wait. I love Middle Eastern Arab type of food. Love a good grilled meats and hummus, so I'm going to try out the meats and the food, hopefully. And yeah, let's get there. It looks lovely. Look at it. So nice little place and we're going to go and try out the restaurant. Welcome everybody to another episode of Latif's Inspired. I'm all the way in Manchester, driven all, it's taken me about four hours, four and a half hours drive to come and see this fantastic restaurant that my subscribers have told me to come and review. It's an authentic Lebanese restaurant in the heart of Manchester. So I'm looking for some fantastic food and hopefully we're gonna have a brilliant service as well. So I'm looking for the authenticity and good quality meats, lovely bread, and hopefully some halloumis and hummus. I don't know what the manager is going to recommend me. The restaurant looks fantastic. I mean, look at this. Looks wonderful. Lovely little decor. As you can see, the outside is nice warm day. So there's quite a lot of tables and the outside. We're going to sit somewhere nice, quiet, so we can actually talk about the food so you guys can see how the food is. And hopefully we're going to enjoy a fantastic meal at Lebanese Comp Tour. Okay. Nice. Your house. <laughs> Thank you. Your house. That's it. Right. I'm getting really cozy here underneath the orange tree. This place looks very nice and it's quite modern with the feel of Lebanon, I think. Nice summary. You've got the show the bar where you can see the lime, the lemons, the fruits. It looks fantastic. And it's getting busier for lunchtime. Loads of fruits, very colorful, lovely de decor interior. Looks wonderful. And we're just waiting for the menu to come now. If you need any help, let me know, okay? Thank you. Right, ladies and gentlemen, flavors of Lebanon. So these are look like the appetizers and mezes. Um, some of the main mixed grills over here. Mixed grill starts about 14.95. You've got the chicken on its own at 12.45. Burgers at 12.95. The chicken koftas. 1240 45 oh they do lovely sea bass as well at 13.95 if you come in with the family and the kids they've got a nice little kids menu some wraps they also do a nice little desserts so cheesecakes um, brownies and this orange blossom mahlubia which i haven't heard of so that must be their authentic lebanese style um, desserts and your usual drinks and coffees which look brilliant Good day, Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, water from Yorkshire, Harrogate. So, yeah, so this is a pomegranate um, Ramuna, pomegranate orange blossom. And this is a lemonade, so, oh, not a lemonade, sorry, one of the lemon squash, so lemon and lime, limona.
Right, we're gonna go and see the kitchen. Um, it's just calmed down, it was very busy earlier. So they've got a little bit of time for us. We're gonna go inside and check the kitchen out. Oh, look at this. Uh, is this a chef, a chef family, family room, yeah? Family room, yeah? Nice, yeah, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this room. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Guys, if you've got a family, ten people or so, come to this place, reserve this, look at that. You'd actually feel like you're in the garden of Lebanon. Fantastic, it looks very beautiful, very pretty, and the wives are gonna love it. Fantastic little decor. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Chicken coffers, fantastically shaped in the skewer. This is the chicken kebabs, and this is your lamb. Fantastic, look at that. Lovely pieces of lamb. You can see the ginger, you can see the garlic, the parsley, no food coloring, authentic spices and flavors. Fantastic, thank you, chef. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I just walked into the other part of the kitchen. They've got these roasted chickens ready for service. Looks fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this charcoal grill. Very theatrical, looks fantastic. We're gonna have a lovely mixed grill, hopefully. This is hopefully gonna be the taste of Lebanon. Ladies and gentlemen, we've seated uh, we're sitting near the kitchen. I like to be where there's nice atmosphere. There's the kitchen in front of us and they've actually been very nice to us. They've actually been very nice to us and given us more drinks. So we've had one round of drinks, went to the kitchen, saw what they're doing and they're going to invite us back to the kitchen when they're going to do the starters. And look at the hospitality here. They've given us these fantastic juices. So this must be uh, lemonade. This is another lemonade and lime and ginger must be. And this must be pomegranate. And they've got crushed ice on these. And, and this is on water from Yorkshire. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. Right, ladies and gentlemen, look at this amazing salad station. So what is this, chef? That's a mixed salad. Mixed it's, salad? Yeah, we use it, we call it village salad. Okay. And with the base for the fatouche. So is this like lettuce, radish, yes. cucumber, yeah. spring onion? Yeah. Fantastic. Wedges of tomato. Yeah. This is pickled radish, yeah? Yes. That's and pickled pickle. chilies. Turnips, not turnips. Turnips, sorry. Yes, and we have these chili pickles. Chili pickles. And cucumber pickles. Cucumber pickles, oh loads of pickles, oh pomegranate, yeah? Uh, chickpeas, yeah. olives, fantastic. And this is parsley, yeah? Yes. And nice this is parsley. feta? This is a feta cheese, yeah? And this is mint? Yes. Fantastic. Oh, thank so you. It, yeah. So let's see you in action now. Yes. So, so hummus? This is called maza platter to share for two birds. So this is the maza platter for two, yeah? Yeah. So that's the labne. Yeah. Now the baba ganoush. Down with the baba ganoush. Yeah. Wow. Sorry. Baba ganoush comes with some pomegranate. Pomegranate. Seeds. And hummus with some chickpeas in the With door. some chickpeas, yes, of course. And some olives with yeah. the... Yeah, Kalamata olives. Um, so this is Gre Greek olives, yeah? Uh, no, it's Damascus olives. Okay, Damascus, yeah? Yeah. Wow. Some pickles. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to say these are fresh little ingredients coming together. It's like Lebanon on a plate. Yeah. Now I've driven all the way from London to come and try this. And the chef is very helpful, very friendly. Thanks so much. Thank you. And he's actually Arab as well. So he's cooking some lovely food for us to hopefully enjoy. So firstly, thank you very much, chef. Really appreciate it. Thank you.
So as a chef myself, I know how busy the kitchens are and how uh, this can be like a hurdle when for service, but they've been very accommodating to us and showing us this amazing food. You're most welcome, Latif. Thank you. Very nice to see you. <laughs> and we're glad to have you here. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, look at these ladies and gentlemen. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, wow, look at this tabule. Fantastic, glistening away. Wow. Sumak? Uh, that's mixed zata. Oh, zata. Thyme. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it's thyme on your leb. And um, paprika in the hummus. Paprika in the hummus. Also some sumac here. Some sumac. Yeah. Fantastic. This is colorful, vibrant, fantastic. Beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, look at all these pickles fantastic decor and the grills flaming hot I'm actually going to show you look at that look at that so this is meat lovers delight fantastic char on the meats lovely subtle spices it's not too much you can actually see the colors of the meat so it's going to be fantastic in flavor and hopefully nice and juicy because of the dry heat it's going to have a nice char on the outside and succulent and juicy inside if they cook it to perfection, which I'm hoping they will do. Fantastic. Oh, I can't believe I got excited over falafel, fresh falafels. They got the falafel maker. Look at this. I personally love falafel. I've got a fantastic falafel flavor on my channel. You need to watch, but this is the proper job. I, don't, I didn't have the maker. These guys got the makers. So nice, fresh, crispy, crunchy falafels for us to order. Is this made with chickpeas? Yeah. Yeah? So this is made with chickpeas? It's made chickpeas, onion, yep. uh, red peppers, yep. coriander, yep. and our mixed spices. Mixed spices as well. Yeah. So it's with going to be extra crisp, nice and crispy, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Must be. Fantastic. Oh, thank you very much. Really appreciate that, chef. Wow. Thank you. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Fantastic. This is what summer's all about. Fantastic colors, fantastic food, lovely, fresh vibrancy. And we're gonna to wait to tuck into this amazing uh, appetizer for two. Wow. And we mix it all. Ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm in for a treat. Wow. This is why we've come here. Fresh, vibrant food. And hopefully we're gonna be talking about this amazing food to you guys. I'm excited and I can't wait to tuck in. So pomegranate, parsley, sumac. Yes. Fantastic, look at that. I am salivating. Fantastic food, beautiful. Thank you, chef. There's a base of fatouche, yep. it's called lettuce, yep. mint, and there's the radish, spring onion, spring cucumber, onion. cucumber. Yeah. and red tomato. Very nice, refreshing. Oh wow. Nice salad. Comes with pomegranates. I love the crunch of pomegranate, lovely, yeah. sweet, and sour. Crispy bread, yeah? Yeah. Oh, let's have a look. Wow. So this is like the Syrian bread or uh, flat bread, yeah? It's the flat bread, yeah. And so it, 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 it you put it in the oven, yeah? Yeah. Wow. And that's our patouche dressing. Patouche juice. So what is this in the juice? In the juice we put vinegar. Okay. Olive oil. Yeah. Lemon juice. Yeah. Some mac. Oh, and dry mint. Yeah. And olive oil, as well. Ladies and gentlemen, the, these, this is the simple food that I personally really love and enjoy. I can just sit down and have this whole bowl to myself. This is heavenly for salad lovers. I need to do a recipe of this on my channel, chef. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Look at this, zoom into this. Look at that. 
This is outstanding. That was missing for you. Wow. So that's halloumi tomato. Oh, it's wow. Halloumi halloumi. Wow. With garlic and thyme. Wow. With olive oil. There you are. Oh, thank you. Enjoy, Let guys. Thank you very much. Definitely. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to say I'm overwhelmed. Food is fantastic. And they've even given us this fantastic complimentary halloumi. Look at that. This is a work of art. Lovely um, grilled halloumi, tomatoes, olives, the mint, and with some lovely olive oil. This looks absolutely gorgeous. Now we're going to try. I like to start off with the hummus. Most of the Arab places I go to, I try off the hummus. If the hummus is good, then you know the food's going to be good. Look at that. Looks fantastic. Lovely, fresh, vibrant smell to it. Lift me up. Wow. This hummus is a bit very different. It's very creamy. It's, it's, it's like it's been blended and blended and blended. It's got a smooth sort of flavor. It's not too garlicky. You can definitely taste the lemon and the olive. In fact, I really enjoyed that. I'm gonna have a little bit more. And I love this um, paprika. Oh, there you go. Gorgeous. Wow. I can just sit here and eat the hummus. Let's try this baba ganoush. I love a nice aubergine um, baba ganoush. It's been roasted. It seems like cooked to perfection. It smells wonderful. Lovely sprinkle of hummus. And I love a crispy, sweet, sour, tangy pomegranate when you bite into it and all the juices come out. Wow. You can taste that crispy pomegranate. I'm not just saying this, I'll be honest with you, it's very nice. Very Moorish. This is lovely comfort food. Wow. Now let's try this labne, which is the yogurt, strained yogurt. Now with the olive and the olive oil. And let's give this a try. There's so much food to try, I'm gonna be, have to pace myself. Wonderful. Very nice, very rich. It doesn't even feel like it's yogurt. It's like some rich clotted cream. Gorgeous. And that thyme, that zatar, absolutely wonderful. As you realize, I'm going for a second spoon just to make sure how it tastes. And it tastes wonderful. Lovely. Let's try this tabbouleh. I love a tabbouleh. You can't go wrong with a tabbouleh. Bulga wheat, parsley, crispy onions, tomatoes. Wow. I'll tell you what, it's very hot outside. It's summer in England. So when you got this in front of you and you're eating this, it's wonderful. Cold food, lovely little meze. And I want to try the falafel. So it's got the sesame seeds on the outside. It looks very crispy. It looks wonderful. Now, that's the chickpeas inside. So let me just taste it as it is. Crispy on the outside, fluffy on the inside. And you can just have this on its own just like that, or into the bread with a bit of hummus. Wonderful. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. Look at that. Wonderful. Amazing. Fantastic. 
try a little pickle. Wow. Soury turnip. Now this is a cheesy cheese inside. Oh, look at that. Wonderful. Lovely little cheese inside. It's not too soury. It's not cheddar cheese. And the uh, pastry is homemade. So it's very nice, very flavoursome. Now let's move on to this amazing kibbe. I've had kibbe once before. It wasn't the best, but I'm going to try this one. Oh, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. That's the lamb mince inside. Yogurt and sumac on the outside. Wow, let's give this a taste. That is very nice. It's not too much seasoning on the lamb. Very subtle. It's not overcooked. Sometimes the lamb can dry out. They've undercooked just about right. This is very Moorish with that pomegranate. I just personally love pomegranate. And this yogurt, amazing. Fantastic. Crispy pomegranate, that's really nice. I'm gonna, this is just talking to me. So I need to tuck into this. Look at that, halloumi. There we go. Get a bit of that olive. Wow, that is beautiful. It's such a simple thing. Nice, salty sort of cheese, grilled to perfection, and drizzle of olive oil, fantastic. Look at that tomato. Look at that. Wonderful. Wow. This is fantastic food. It's a lot of food, ladies and gentlemen, to try. And I, I was really excited for this. This is just like a mixture of salad and bread, everything all in one. Look at that. Lovely. Mmm. Wow, I'm not just saying that. I love a little lemon juicy sour tartness to it. That salad has got everything. And I really enjoy that crispy bread. Wow, it's like croutons, but Lebanese style. Oh, this is very Moorish. You can just sit here and just eat that whole plate. Mmm. Wow, I think so far my favourite has to be this salad. It's wonderful. It's so simple, but very delicious. We've got one more to try. This is the deep fried potatoes. There you go. With the spices and the pepper sauce. That's nice. It's not as flavoursome as this. This has got the most flavours, I would say. This, don't get me wrong, it's just potatoes with lightly seasoned with all these spices, but it's not very strong in flavour. But it's very nice. This is a lovely little meze. Pickles, hummus, your dips, your halloumi. Fantastic appetisers. Now, we, we're going to enjoy this with the cameraman. Thank you. 
Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, lovely vermicelli rice. Looks like a bit of the yogurt and the sumac. Fantastic salad. And it seems like they sprinkled the sumac everywhere, so it should have that sort of sour fruitiness to it. Koftas looks wonderful. These are the chicken kebabs and the chicken koftas. And these must be the sort of harissa chili type sauces. So let's tuck in and enjoy. Right, <clears throat> I'm a personally a fan of lamb. So I'm gonna try the lamb kofta. Let me just show you over here. Uh, there's some juices there, so it hasn't dried out. Once again, when you have the Middle Eastern food, the spices, they're very subtle. Compared to Indian restaurants, shish kebabs is different because it has a lot more spices and the ginger, the garlic. Whereas here, mainly just salt and pepper and I would say just maybe parsley peppers so less ingredients but very flavours and you can definitely taste the meat now I don't know what sauce that is but let's check out the sauce oh that's a very peppery chilli sauce and this it's like a yoghurt sauce let's try this brown rice I love a little rice. Oh, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, vermicelli rice with the yogurt. I can just eat that on its own. Fantastic. Very nice rice. Now let's try the chicken kebab. So it's a chicken breast. Still got a little bit of fat, a bit of liquid there. So it looks wonderful. Hopefully it's not dry. Give this a taste. Mm. Not spicy at all. It's not dry. Sometimes if it's overcooked, it'll just dry it. So it's still nice and moist inside. Very nice. Let's try this kofta. This is a chicken kofta. Yep. Mm, I like that. Yum. I normally like the lamb, but I think this chicken has been cooked to perfection. It's still nice and moist. Fantastic flavours. And a little salad. And the salad. Wow. I'm gonna go for a bit of this chicken. Wow. Mm. When you add these sauces, the condiments, it lifts the flavor. Fantastic. Now, if I was to compare this mixed grill to my Indian restaurant style mixed grill, I would say our mixed grill has more flavor because of the spices. And we also use fantastic quality of meat. But this here, very simply spiced. The meat needs to be good. And I think they've got it down to a T. It's fantastically marinated. So it's got smooth, subtle flavors. And it's still got the juices from the meat, so wonderful. Mitz grill, beautiful. This is our dessert for you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You want to try some fresh rose mint tea? Please, tea, yeah. 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 Thank you, second. thank you. So this is called the orange and blossom mahlubia. Traditional Lebanese milk pudding with date, fig, apricot, prune, sesame seed and sultana compote. Right, this is what I'm going to try first. So this is the milk.
Yeah, nice. Nothing great, but it's yeah, it's not very powerful, packed full of sweetness and flavour. But it's definitely flavourful. It's the fruits that gives it a lift and that little sauce. Mm. Now this is what I like, baklava. Let's give this a go. Mm, that's hard that is. It's very hard. A little bit doughy for the texture. Definitely nice and sweet. Now, let me try this one. Oh, thank you. Oh, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. That was very theatrical. Lovely mint tea. It's something you need straight after this. Oh. Nice selection of desserts. But my favourite were the starters. Now, this lovely restaurant in the heart of Manchester, fantastic decor, nice spacious inside. It's got a lovely outside seating area as well. The food is, um, I would say, the starters and the mezes and the dips were fantastic. Main meals, um, I didn't have some of the tagines, maybe I should have tried the tagine. Mitz grill was okay. Um, dessert is okay, but I think the baklava I don't know, it should have had a nice crispiness to it, a nice sweetness to it. It's definitely got the sweetness, sorry, but that flavour, the texture, something wasn't right. But all in all, nice little meal in Manchester's Lebanese Comptoir. Now, if you've enjoyed this vlog, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more fantastic videos at Latif's Inspired. And thank you very much for supporting me. Let's get to 200,000 subscribers. See you soon.